Hey to Cowdies, how you going? Hope you're good. It has been crazy busy here at the Collector this week. We've got the Bloke Shed Auction. We've got some great stuff. But we've been knocking back shit. It's been that busy. Some nice old men's watches. A really nice old Temple Bar cigarette case. A little plastic thing there. There's an aerial motorbike badge and a little international harvester tie pin. Tasman toasted flake tobacco tin to ripper. Little Richmond Tigers cufflink and tie bar set. Rolleone cigarette tobacco. Riverhead Gold New Zealand New Zealand tin. Ander old gun oil tin to ripper. RAAF enameled badges all circa World War II. This is pretty cool. There's a little metal plaque here which has got embossed bodywork by James Motors. A little military pocket knife there, a little ID model of an F-86 Sabre, micrometer, some more little Australian advertising bits, bag over the back there's a watch with an aluminium band made out of an old Japanese aircraft, World War II probably out of a zero, sort of knives, bonnet badges, sterling silver fob medallions and chains, this is pretty cool this little sort of sash in here from a 1934 South Australian motorbike uh, carnival or something like that. A little glucose barley sugar tin over the back of the ripper. More fob chains medallions, Richmond Speedway medallion. RAAF is a pretty cool little cigarette case there advertising WH Bruce's marvellous suits to order. Adelaide, Melbourne and Sydney. Bonnet badges. Pretty good little early golf ball in that bag as well. Some nice stuff in the jewellery cupboard but not too many bits of jewellery. And else have we got? The big sort of boat there, the big tugboat, SOS, pretty cool thing. Little corner cabinet's cute, display cabinet. A couple of Richmond Tigers, big hand-painted station sign and the Richmond Tigers footy club sign. And nice. Little pair of lanterns, this is really cute. Little pedal, sort of portable pedal organ. Pearl River is the brand, it all works and everything. It's got this nice little stool to go with it. There he is, the king, Elvis. He lives, he's in the building. Nice little sort of corner chair. See a little sort of badge on the back of it earlier. There you go, Bo Laurie. Da -da 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 -da. Got some more nice bits in the little other secondary sort of jewellery cabinet. Some number punches and little gun oilers. Tobacco tins unopened, packages. More tobacco, massive big porcelain fuse, gauges. It's got some nice little guitars. This looks like a nice little, if I can get it open. A little Ibanez Classical from the 1950s. There you go, it's in good condition. The neck's not bent or anything. Oh, we've got the nice little label, a little sort of pearlized scratch plate. And this is a nice Suzuki acoustic guitar. In its case as well, in great condition. Another nice bit. This is pretty cool. I think it's a Daring Class Destroyer. Big made up sort of model kit there, all hand built. Got all the motor and stuff still in it. Missing a few bits, but they're in the bag. What else have we got? Arc welders, fishing rods, books on wine, heaps of electrical sort of componentry and stuff. Nice old watering cans, all signed footy jumpers, Doug Hawkins, Nathan Buckley, signed by the Geelong team, uh, Polly Farmer, Stakilda team, signed by some Richmond guy, number 32, we couldn't figure it out. Frio, Brisbane, and this port one signed by a good old Warren Treadray. Whole collection of Hessian bags, cannonball potatoes. Pretty cool advertising on them. This is a nice big ca uh, carpenter's toolbox with all the gear in it. Big groups of stuff down under the table as well. More tools. More sort of blokey gear. Big power saw. Nice collection of old bottles and packaging. More sort of electrical components. Bottles of wine. Tools. Tools. Little willow rubbish bin's a ripper up the top there with its original lid. More tools and stuff, records, tools, bike bits. A little camphor wood trunk. Some signage and some sort of Harley Davidson motorcycle parts in here. There you go. Foot pedals and stuff. Saw benches. This is pretty amazing. Big sort of cocktail cabinet or stationary cabinet or whatever you want to use it for. The top does go up. It's got little sort of holders inside there for your glasses or rubber stamps or something. Drawers, 
cupboards. It's all one big piece. It's joined in here. Pretty amazing thing. There is a mark on the back as well as to who made it. A little stamp here. Paget and Freiburg, Queensbury Place, Carlton. There you go. And as we've got more tools and bottles and china and fishing gear, cricket stuff, signs. Speaking of signs, Metro Flinders Street Station one's a massive thing. A little Toshiba stereo system. Drill press is pretty cool. Little oriental cabinet's cute. Drums, old Cyclops trike. More componentry, some body parts, big lot of horse racing books, specialised bike frame at the top, BP tins, little meat safe's cute, some military tanks and aircraft, ephemera, golf gear, art glass, signed footies, bottles of grog down the bottom again, more tools and drill bits, painting stuff, big group lot in the corner with speakers and gear. All sorts of shit this week, eh, guys? Gramophone horns. It's pretty good. Kirby vacuum cleaner with all the stuff to go with it. Bloody expensive thing to buy new. This is the front left-hand quarter panel off an HG or HT Monaro with the nice little sort of gills in the side. Lovely big sort of Victorian, uh, looks to be sort of cedar veneer wardrobe. Got some nice pictures this week, actually. Even though it's a bloke shed auction, you find some of these sort of things in a bloke shed, don't you? Really nice portrait all by Leslie uh, Andrew Wilkie. Nice example. And so we've got a Lawrence Pendlebury oil painting there. Autumn, it's called. It's got not for sale on the back. There you go. And then it's got also a price of like 60 guineas or something like that. So it's pre-1966. I really like this thing. J.C. Goodhart, it is. Australian artist, etching. Well, you can't really see it. All you can see is that dickhead with the camera in his hands in the bloody reflection. But it's called Drought. There you go. There's a couple of sort of crows or something picking at a carcass out in the outback of Australia with all the dead trees and stuff. The sun's burning bright. Cool thing. Joseph Zubivik watercolour is lovely as well. Used to be down at sort of foothills of the Dandenongs or something. Big modernist Japanese uh, coloured etching. And a nice David Rose colour screen print. Really nice example of his work. 1991, good thing. All right, what else have we got? Branding irons. One of them says on or no, whichever way you want to go. Kawasaki motorbike seat, power saw, cascade beer signs. It's pretty cool. The big Jackie Chan, Owen Wilson, Shanghai Knights movie poster in a big sort of light up display board. Surfboards, the Tribal Spears one's a ripper. Sky as well, golf stuff. Little tool tidy, tins. There you go, the horns to mount on the front of your car. This is nice, the John Bunkle and Son North Melbourne old sort of advertising piece. Pretty wacky thing, it's like a sort of re-breathing apparatus or something like that. It's got all the gear in there. Little motorised Razor scooter's pretty cool. Reproduction tin sort of blokey signs. Automatic sprinkler boxes. Nice to make a good sort of bathroom cabinet actually with a mirror in it. Lots of blokey gear, gators and stuff. Telescope, planes, turntable, courage lager, tins, Ericsson phone, motorbike helmets cool, got some nice golf clubs, little putter, milk bottles, another fire sprinkler case, records. Nice little lamp there with a sort of shatterproof glass shade. Tins. Another nice golf club. Parking meter. Golf clubs again. Microscope here or something like that. More golf clubs. A couple of little sort of katana swords or Japanese swords. There's this putter with a round sort of cylinder shaped end on it. Pretty quite an unusual bit. Another nice microscope. Records, Wisdoms, Festo, little jigsaw there or something, more golf balls, Marinda Highway sign. It's pretty cool. Another nice little power tool there, some telephones, tapes, boxes, golf clubs, Matabo hammer drill it looks like, nice packaging, more golf clubs. These are funny little, uh, little bloody heads on those things, little wompers they are. The Buster, 
Funny little things. Some of the bloody drivers and stuff you see these days, you can't miss a ball. I reckon it'd be pretty hard to hit them. Nice little lantern. Sort of bloke here, big rat traps, pretty cool. Cameras. It's a little sort of bit there off an old Australian military Sten gun, or Bren gun. Cameras, footy stuff, die casts. Rosella bottles are pretty cool. Little cast iron bank. Golden fleece tin as a reproduction. We put it with some nice uh, number plates. Signed St Kilda footy. Attention, full load, 14 persons. He's nice, the old tin. Another nice milk bottle, Robin Redbreast Flake Tobacco, Black Feather Record, Tins, Motorbike Exhausts, Big Dick Johnson Racing Flag signed by him and John Bauer. It's a very good ping putter. All the details in the base. Dolls, wood blocks, this is a bracky big thing, the big sort of fire uh, alarm or something like that. It's water operated to let you know when there's a fire taking place. Another interesting old putter down the bottom. It's pretty cool, a photograph there of the old boxer, shaping up. What else have we got? Looks like a tank periscope. Pretty amazing sort of helmet, military helmet, nice clock. We've got a pilot's helmet here, the leather pilot's helmet with a pair of mittens to go with it. It's a lovely old theodolite in a box or something like that. Tins. Some nice old golf balls from the sort of 1950s, 60s, if not a bit earlier. Some good stuff in there. What else have we got? Nina Cherry Records, Smoker's Cap, Cherry Blossom Boot Polish Outfit, nice little compass. There's another compass in that box, Japanese one. Some nice old bottles, tobacco boxes, a ripper, nice tobacco tins, doorknobs, Dunhill Pewter Tankard. Packing them, stopping all stations, train signs, pretty cool. And I've got some good bits up the top shelf. Sign, Barry Michael, Tony Mundine, and someone else, boxing gloves, Razabody T. A nice little Vic Rail oil lamp. Penwright Motor Oil is a ripper. And what's this nice old bottle? Dyson's Propriety Limited Melbourne with a nice emu on the front in a start. This needs a bit of a clean. And where's that, where's the um, Savoy thing gone? It's over here. It's okay, we've got a really nice um, Savoy glass biscuit jar from out of an old milk bar or something like that. There's photographs of it online. I think they're just trying to photograph it. We're going to do it for the What's It Worth this week. Anyway, I'd like to show it to you, but you can have a look yourselves. Hopefully you see it. We see you on Thursday night. It's going to be a bloody good auction.